Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to perform indexing and slicing in Pandas API. So I have created a sample data set. My data set is having four different attributes, English, Math, Science and Roll number. And uh, index I have set to the student's name. So these are names and these are the subject and this is the column for roll number. So uh, for indexing and slicing, two functions are widely used in Pandas API. These functions are LOC and ILOC. So first of all, we are going to see LOC, which is a label-based accessing function. Now, what is the meaning of label-based accessing function? Is that whenever we want to access data with the help of labels, whether it is row label or it is column label. So in that case, we will go for LOC. So let's say I'm interested in John's record. So it will show a record for John. Now similarly, let's say <coughs> I'm interested in record of John and Mac. So it will show you records for John and Mac. Now the thing is that we are not specifying any column name here. So in that case all columns value will be retrieved. So in case we are interested in particular columns, let's say we want to see English marks for both the student. So first we need to write row labels. Then we need to write column labels. That's it. Okay, now let's see what is slicing. So, slicing actually uh, will specify how we want to slice our data frame. Like, uh, instead of specifying each row label separately, we can specify starting label and the ending label. So, let's say I want to show all the records from John to Raj. So I can write here John colon Raj. So this slicing means that access all the rows starting from John and ending at Raj. So let's print it. So see it's working. Now similarly this slicing, similar to this you can also specify column slicing. John Raj and here I'm specifying column slicing from English to science that's it so this is slicing now let's see what is ILOC function so ILOC is a position based function okay so instead of using labels ILOC used position now this is the first row this is the second row, this is the third row. Now if we consider this data as a matrix form, so the index for this item will be 0 and 0, 0 row, 0 column. So in ILOC function, we specify position of the data. So let's see what will happen when we specify 0. So it will give us first row. Okay. Now, if I specify a index for column as well, let's say one. So it it uh, it's uh, printing forty. So let's see where is the forty. So we have specified zero, which is the first row, and we have specified column one. It means that is the second column. So this is forty. So this is also similar to LOC. We can specify all the row we want to access we can specify all the column we want to access and similar to slicing in LOC we can specify a slicing here as well let's say I want to access uh, rows from 0 to 3rd and column from 0 to 3rd now the thing is that uh, here when we perform slicing it will not include the last record 
for instance we, we are starting from 0 and then we are saying it should be 0 to 3 so it will not include the last one so that this you can say this are the total number of records in this case but if the starting index is uh, starting index is other than 0 in that case it will start from this index and it will end one before the last index okay so just to revise again loc and ilc these are used for indexing and slicing loc is a label based accessing function and iloc is a position based accessing function so in ILOC we specify position in form of number whereas in LOC we use the labels. Thank you very much for watching.